Good evening. Welcome. It's wonderful to be on Gino's spot. Relax, sit down. Coming out of PE town. Got a drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver, get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Tonight is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous evening. We have Wendy Tompkins Tompkins. Wonderful. We got, we got her, she's got 21 years with Centre Stage. And we're going to be going through all, uh, she, she finished an amazing project. But I'm going to get to that just now. I'm here for you guys tonight. Fabulous to have you aboard. Let's say aboard is like a ship, sort of like a ship, but it's actually a studio. First of all, thank you to our sponsors, Fitch and Leeds. I've got my drink. I hope you got your drink. Make sure that you have a drink. A drink helps you get through, helps you make Make it through the night. I have my pink drink because, oh my, hello, Carol Grand from Arena. Lovely to have you on. Carol Jakes, it's always there. Absolutely batty, that woman. Yes. Ooh, piece of ice in my mouth. Lovely, so cool. And of course, our, our, our sponsor, Spa, helping with Embrace Innovation. Absolutely. <laughs> embrace Innovation, Embrace Tomorrow. That's right, because we are streaming live from Port Elizabeth tonight on Gina's spot. Had a bit of a rough day today. Of course, you see, I, I bought my cousin, I got my, um, my cousin a puppy, and then he got run over. So, so that's how I got my puppy. And uh, I love my puppy. It's beautiful. <laughs> In fact, when I come home every day, listen and listen. This is some advice. If you're one of my friends, every day I come home, my puppy wheezes all over the floor because he's so excited. <laughs> None of you do that when I come home. None of you. I do, it just flaky. That's what all of you are. All of you. Hello, Brian Wilkinson. Hello, Brian Wilkinson. Sword. <laughs> That's right, Brian. Hello, Mark Telford. Lovely to have you as well. And Ingrid van den Hook from the corner. <laughs> In Ingrid van den Hook. Where did you get that surname from, van den Hook? I mean, was that because there were um, your, obviously your grandmothers and grandmothers you know, were hanging around on the corner. We don't know what they were doing. Hello, Beatrice Klupa Klupa, all the way from Switzerland. Woo! And be, yes, Snyder Cooper. <laughs> and very and Warmenhove. I love that name. Warmenhove. We don't know what a hove is, but I'm presuming it's like an, an oven in Dutch or something. Carol Jean Vry, oh, looks like a mixture of a strumpet and a pump. That's right. I am more a strumpet than a pump. That's right. Linda Trollope, that's more like me, a trollope. <laughs> oh, Dutch, absolutely. Fund and hook. I gathered that fund and hook on the corner. That's what Red Light District. That's what you're about, Ingrid. Tanya Pretorius, <laughs> yes, you see that from the corner. Absolutely. Okay, so I hope you all got your drinky poos. Thank you to Amobia for our internet tonight. Super speed. And, and of course, Fitch needs for my pink drink. So have you got your drinks? Everybody say cheers. Cheers. There we go. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've been trying to get out. Get out because it's been COVID. COVID is, you know, people are getting a bit lax. I don't, I try and keep my mask um, on all the time, except if I see somebody that I really like, then I'm off with the mask. But, you know, you try and do it. And I went out to, um, to the, the, the beer yard. We went to beer yard. I pulled in there. The bouncer says to me, oh, you're not allowed in because you've had one too many. I said, what? Pink drinks. He said, no, birthdays. Bitch. That's all I can say. Ladies and gentlemen, give me something to sing. Give me, so send me some messages to sing. And I uh, thank you. Hello, Vicky Sanong. Lovely to see you. Candice Bellardi du Tour. I love that name. I love it. Sounds so French. We're going to do a song for you. Let's get going. All right. We're going to, uh, Pauline Mills Thompson, hello there. Nice to see you online. All right. Here we go. I thought love was 
Uncle Jacob is always on. <laughs> Candace Bellardi du Dois and Dave Jackson. Ingrid Van Den Hoek is on the corner. Kathleen Patricia Manley says hello, hello. Brian Wilkinson. As well, somewhere. A Beatrice Snyder Cooper. How do you say it? Copper or Cooper? Jillian Woman. How's warmer than you? Tanya Pretorius. Hello, Doll. Pauline Thompson. Hello, Gina. Kathleen Manley. Hello, missing you guys. And Vicky Sennon says. Linda Trollop says ha Hello Gina says Tusha Do 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 Hello Fernando You sexy thing you Gordon Davidson Hello Hello Wendy from all the way from the UK Kat Anderson also from Brighton We love you too Kat What are you since Ryan? All we get is pain Mimi Rob says hello Gina I saw her face. Kelly Gino without a trace. A Fred Stimmett's back. I don't know where your back is these days. I'm in love. Where's your back, Fred Stimmett? Post a picture. I can leave her with my trash. Charmaine Purden Wobble. Gentlemen, welcome to Gino's spot today, tonight. Ooh, all of my stuff is coming out here. I can't believe my, my fashion is coming out. Greer, Greer, hello, you've joined tonight. Lovely to have you on board, Greer. Greer's another one of our, our front of house people. We've got so many of them. And Wendy's, uh, Wendy's had 21 years with us, and that's why we're going to be celebrating tonight, because she, she has actually done something quite special. And I'll explain now. Hello, Mar Mariana, Mariana Lawrence. Hello to you. Lovely to see you as well. Now to see your face looking very nice in that picture, I must say. And Dave Jackson, all the way from East London. We have got our East London crew. Hello, East London crew. Lovely to have you there as well. All right. Well, they say they miss Wendy. Uh, Wendy's, Wendy's right here backstage. She's waving at me. <laughs> And uh, we've got her in studio tonight. It's absolutely fantastic. Wendy, of course, we've worked with, with so many. With, well, I've worked with her for, for 20 years, and she's actually been with, with Center State for 21 of those uh, well, 21 of those 20 years that I was with him. It's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the other way around. <laughs> You've been here longer than I have. She, she, needs a, she needs a pay raise, and so we all drink to that. <laughs> Annette Lovemore, lovely to have you here as well. <laughs> fantastic. All right, so um, as, as per Saturday night... As per Saturday night, we have our, um, our usual watch you're watching. Darren Fuller's been, fe been feeling a bit um, poorly the last few weeks, but hopefully she's all better, all uncoveted herself. I don't know if she had COVID, but if she did, that's fine. Then she's well again. Thank goodness for that. So uh, we're going to go to watch you're watching, see what you're doing, what you should be doing on Netflix and various other uh, channels. Let's see what you, what you got. Where's, where's Darren? Hello, Darren. Hello. Lovely to be back again. Lovely to be here. <laughs> Hello. There's champagne in here. Cheers. It's, it's not coffee. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best fan. It's the best fan <laughs> in the world. Yes. They are. <laughs> so, um, they are. Um, absolutely amazing. I'm very sorry. Apparently, there are mutated are rats there? that are eating at my Wi Fi. Am I here? Oh, can you hear me? There you are. You are. You're there. You're there. Yeah. So please. Yes, I can. You can take it away, Darren. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, marvelous. 
Okay, yes, guys, sorry. Uh, mutated rats attacking my Wi-Fi and uh, the technical director is not here. So let's hope this is fine. Okay, firstly, I'm going to reveal something about myself. Um, I'm completely obsessed with the angler fish. Angler fish. And I got this beautiful drawing of an angler fish a friend of mine found it in port alfred and i'm just so excited to have it that i wanted to show it to you but anyway there's nothing to do with why i'm here okay so since i have been poorly obviously i've had lots of time to watch lots of things so to start off tonight i watched a movie called sweetheart which is on netflix and i had no expectations when i went in it's about this woman who wakes up on an island. She's obviously been in a boating accident. She wakes up on this island. She doesn't know where she is. And one of her friends that was obviously on the boat with her is lying just a little a little way down the beach. And then she grabs him and he's like, uh, 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 uh. so then she's alone on this island. So obviously she continues to do what everyone does, what Tom Hanks did when you end up on an island you learn how to make fire you learn how to fish so she's carrying on um everything's fine except for of course she's stuck on an island but then one night she just so happens to have a flare gun on her and she sees a plane go past so she shoots off this flare gun and as it drops over the ocean it just lights up this creature that's in the ocean in front of the island wow and then she obviously she runs for her life to hide out in the forest. And this creature follows. And then the next morning, she doesn't see him again. Oh, my word, guys. This movie was so good. It was so mysterious. And I really, really love movies where it's from one character's perspective. So I don't want to give too much away, obviously. But essentially, it is such a good movie. It has the supernatural elements. It has a bit of gore. It's fantastic. Watch it. It's so, so good. That's on Netflix. And then secondly, The Babysitter. Okay, now The Babysitter is a movie that's been on Netflix for quite a while. And I've always wanted to watch it, but I've just not got around to it. And recently I saw that it actually already has a sequel called the babysitter queen so i thought all right if i'm gonna watch this i have to watch the original uh, the babysitter is a netflix original it is so so good it's about this maybe 12 13 year old kid who's being really bullied at school and um obviously just feels pretty terrible about himself but he has this fantastic older babysitter who's samara weaving so also very attractive and they just get along really well, and she's so nice to him. She makes him feel better about himself. So he's chatting to one of his 12, 13-year-old friends, and they say, ooh, you know, when you go to sleep, the babysitter bring the, they bring their boyfriends over. So he's like, okay, fine. Tonight, I'm not going to go to sleep at bedtime. I'm going to wait to see what happens. And he does. And she doesn't bring her boyfriend over. She has a satanic cult. It's it's just so good. It's such a good film. It's so unexpected. It's funny. It's gory. It's it's so incredibly good. And the cast is amazing. So I can't tell you anything about the sequel because obviously that would give away the babysitter. But I watched the sequel this weekend and it's so good. It's so worth it. So those two, those three movies essentially, very, very good. And then the other day I happened to watch Picnic and Hanging Rock. So this is a new concept to me. Um, I did a lot of research, though. It's based on a book that was written in the 60s by an Australian author. She apparently just wrote this book in a week. <laughs> I'm not jealous. <laughs> and now it's apparently really famous in Australia. So there was a film uh, just after that. And uh, I haven't seen that. What I watched was the mini series, which uh, stars Natalie Dormer from Game of Thrones. It's just so incredibly bizarre. I I loved it, but it's bizarre. Essentially, the premise is it's set in the early 1900s. There are these girls that are attending a finishing school. Um, uh, the school's a bit strict, and they go on this special picnic for Valentine's Day to this place called the Hanging Rock. 
which is a uh, special mountain area. So these three girls, they decide that they want to explore this rock and they disappear. They just disappear. And the entire show is trying to figure out why they disappeared and this unravels secrets and different things about the characters. And the ending is just... I don't know what to say about the ending, but it's absolutely worth watching. Completely bizarre. Okay, and lastly, lastly, we started watching this a few days ago, Cobra Kai. Guys, oh wait, okay. Mr. Miyagi was, okay, and Buffy, was the reason that I started karate back in the day. And, oh my gosh, Cobra Kai is a series that's on Netflix, which is based on, it's a continuation of the Karate Kid. So Danny and Johnny, his opponent at the end of the Karate Kid, they're adults now, and Johnny's kind of like this underdog, and Danny's really successful but they're still intertwined in each other's lives. And guys, it's just fantastic. It's so good. It still has a lot of the original aspects of the movie and it really respects the characters and it's so funny. And oh man, they can still kick, it's fantastic. So if you really like the Karate Kid, uh, you like you know the occasional kick, it's just amazing. And something my boyfriend said um, about Gen Zers or young people not knowing the relevance of Wax on, wax off. Makes me really sad. So please, tell anyone who's too young what that means. And that's me for this week. Thank you. I hope you much, can see Terry. me. <laughs> okay, it's a pleasure. We, we, got, we got it. We got you. A bit blurry, but but we got your we got your sound. So that's good. Well, tell, oh, tell me that, oh, that's that, good. That first, that first movie, that the one with the, with the monster in the ocean. With Sweetheart. The I Sweetheart. Okay, Sweetheart. Sweetheart. I'm going to... Oh, that's so my good. next one. Oh, Absolutely please watch incredible. it. So good. It's fantastic. I, I really, really liked it. Me too, me too. It was very good. It reminded me of, of do you remember Madman Mars? Madman Mars. Seen that movie. <laughs> yeah, Mad I Man haven't. Mars. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> that's going to have to go on my list now. <laughs> that'll, go, that'll go in your list. It's got, it's, it's got that same thing with where, where they're telling a, uh, telling a story around a campfire and then he, then he's, he says about this madman Mars that lives in the, in the forest. Oh, I love it goes, already. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He goes, come on, man, man, Mars, come and get me. Come on. Ah! <laughs> and he throws, um, he throws a stone. He throws a stone into the bush and it flies. A, and a, the stone goes back. And, and through, through a window and into a, an old ah! house. <laughs> oh, I'm already, I'm already hooked. I love it. <laughs> oh, classic. Well, so a same, similar thing with a flare and the monster. Wow, and then the monster oh, gosh. Oh, ah! That's such a good oh. moment. Oh, watch it. Yes, please watch it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Thank you, Derry. That was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for having will, me. Thank you. We'll see you next week. See you next week. <laughs> Ciao. Excellent. Bye. <laughs> Oh, Darren, oh, crazy, crazy movie lady. And, uh, and that, sounds, that sounds fantastic. I love that sort of thing. Throw the flare up and then the monster's there. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get to our special guest today, who is Wendy Thompson. All the way, I see Pauline Mills. Uh, can't, can't hear me. Can't hear me. I don't know why you can't hear me. Uh, anybody else that can't hear me? Uh, I hope you can hear me. Try and helping to try and connect. Am I getting sound, everybody? Uh, I'm getting sound. Yes, we got sound. We got sound. Turn up, turn up your <laughs> your volume, Pauline. <laughs> turn up your volume. I'm here. I'm here. better now. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's much better now. All right. So, so we've got in a, in the studio tonight. I have Wendy Thompson. Wendy Thompson, and Wendy has been with Center Stage for now about for 21 years, and uh, during COVID. Uh, in this period, obviously, we've had, we've had no shows to do. So, uh, so Wendy's her hands have got busy, and she's a scrapbooker, and she's managed to put together her scrapbook that she's been doing for 20 years. She's been collecting uh, all sorts of stuff from every single show. She's got an incredible detail about the shows, in, uh, uh, amazing. And she's done this massive scrapbook, which is an in, insane history of, of Center Stage. And I thought that that is a good enough idea, and the fact that it's 21 years, so it's Wendy's 21st. Yeah, it's in the stage. <laughs> and so we're gonna get her on to the studio. But Wendy, come come through. Get your get your chair there. Get your chair. We're gonna sit down here. And then I'm gonna switch on these microphones. And uh, hopefully you can still hear us. We'll see. Yes. There's sound going out. We got sound going out there. All right. Wendy, 
Welcome to the studio. It's lovely to have you here. I work for Centre Stage, but I don't like being Centre Stage. <laughs> I know. Pounding. No, don't worry. I know she's been nervous. She hasn't eaten for a week because she's been worried about coming onto the show. But don't worry, Wendy. It's just it's just you and me here. Don't worry. There's nobody else watching. Well, look, there's no one else. Those Thank other hundred people, and there's nothing there. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure, Wendy. Uh, and I, I think, um, uh, you know, where to start with someone like you? Because um, because you, you've been at Centre State longer than I have, and you've always obviously done, done front of house. But um, but when did you start? When did you actually start with Centre Stage? Well, to be exact, Gina, yes. I started on the 10th of September in 1999. So am I going to get a key? Yes, a key, to the, a key to the house, <laughs> yes. Fantastic, 1999. Yes. And, um, but okay. I mean, were, you, were you always, you, you weren't doing door for anybody else, you weren't doing this sort of stuff before? No, no. My passion has always been the theatre, stage, um, and when I was a teenager, I danced. Okay. Oh, the dancer. Yes, you know that. Yes, you with Le that. Leslie Albrecht. That's right. Uh, Le Leslie, <laughs> Hi, if, Les. if someone's yeah. not, if someone, uh, tag, tag, wind, uh, tag Leslie Albrecht, she's still around here. She's in Canada. Is she in Canada? Okay, yeah. okay. Because I see you online every now and again, but you never know where they are online, you know. <laughs> and Leslie said I had the potential to dance on stage, but I didn't have the confidence. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. So it's always been my passion. So I have always, wherever I can, oh, look, sorry, Gordon. Gordon and Pam, hello, I miss you. <laughs> they come all the way from England every year, at least three or four times a year. Oh, lovely. Gina, and they've seen all the shows. <laughs> Pam is my, my show buddy. I wish oh. you lived here in Port Elizabeth because we go to shows every night. If Thank we you, could. Pam. We love you, oh. Pam. I see Graham Loudon Carter, uh, also from the UK. You've got lots of friends Graham, in the UK. Can I can I tell you? Yes. Okay. Hello, Graham. <laughs> Graham was very very. Uh, or his dad, Mick Carter. Yes. He was a pilot, and he knew my dad very well. And my dad was an air traffic controller. And Nick and, and my dad also had his private pilot's license. Okay. And another thing, Graham Loudon Carter. I used to do ballet classes with his mom, Maisie oh. <laughs> Loudon Carter, and congratulations on her birthday recently, Graham. Maisie. Happy Maisie. birthday, Maisie. Maisie Loudon Carter. Oh, happy birthday. Vicky Sennon, hello. Hello, Vicky. Vicky is front of house. Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to say it now, but can I? While yes, I think yes, of it. yes. Vicky. Oh, and Karen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody, if I get excited, but you know, this is my passion. I love Centre Stage. <laughs> I haven't seen friends. you in such a long time. You know, Wendy's been locked up for I don't know how long. <laughs> she's, COVID, she's taken COVID very, very, very seriously. And I seriously. don't drink and I can still get yeah. excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to t just share a little story. Um, Vicky is one of the front of house ladies who I did know before she joined um, Centre Stage. I've, I've yeah. seen her at Jackie Redmond's music quizzes Jackie. in the past um, or whatever. Anyway... We've got a little front of house WhatsApp group. And um, one morning, uh, the phone rang, and I answered it. And I was getting dressed, and I was only dressed up to here. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I see Pauline, Mills, Thompson, uh, her, Pauline Thompson's husband, Frank, on the line, and then Vicky. And, and I'm like, oh, you answer the phone, you don't expect to see people. <laughs> They, someone had pressed video call by <laughs> mistake. <laughs> oh, <that> was... <laughs> so you had no pants on, basically? No, no, I had no top, I had boobs. Oh my god! <laughs> that so even worse! Yes, yes! <laughs> but Pauline assures me that Frank saw nothing. She didn't oh, I'm sure, I hope I'm not. sure he saw nothing. <laughs> so, so apologies, Frank, sorry. <laughs> 
Vicky, I had to share that. I don't know who pushed the button. It wasn't me because I answered the phone. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it funny. brightened up our lives in the beginning of lockdown. That's Certainly. <laughs> I was remembered to call you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Candice and Kathleen. Kathleen Manley. And there's Kathy. Kathy, Kathy Manley. You know Kathy. I know Kathy Manley. We as talk well. over the wall when COVID, when we were in lockdown. Oh, she, is she? Yeah. Next door as well. She, okay. I. If Kathy doesn't mind, sorry Gary, I'm going all out of sequence. <laughs> uh, the best way. Kathy is also with front of house, and I would say she is like the mom. Every day, she makes sure we all say good morning and good night, and she's just so nurturing. Yeah. And at shows, I've noticed that if anyone, someone, I don't know, collapses or whatever, <laughs> yes. Kathy is always first the, one there. first one there the to nurse. help. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate what you do. Oh, man. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so let, let's get into okay, a question. No, that's fine. We, we go in wherever you want to go. Okay, I'm, and I'm all over the place, yes. so forgive me. There's no rules here, but I, I want to find out your, your um, uh, how long, first of all, how long you've done it for. And, um, and then those early years. days, 21, 21 years. years, but then uh, how did you get into okay, it? Okay, right. Like I said, my passion is the theatre. So I was a very, very, very good... Um, client of Centre Stage, I used to buy tickets to every show. And okay. I think Lynette got to know me because yes. I bought so many tickets. Lynette Collett. Yep. Thank Love you, Lynette. Lynette. Thank you for introducing to me. I'm forever grateful for what you did um, because I've loved my time yeah, <laughs> with Centre sure. Stage. So thank you. I want to say that first. Mm. Um, that, and at one, she, at one show, she actually spoke to me and said, well, how would you like to help out? And I said, oh, I'd love to. I mean, really. And that is how I started. From being yeah. a good client, paying for tickets. So, okay? so uh, like a, a punter. No to comps. No comps. Yes, I paid for my tickets. You came so many times. <laughs> many, many. Oh, that. and I have to tell you, at that point in time, um, when I started with Centre Stage, it was actually a very sad time in my life. Because yeah. I, I lost quite a few things. I lost my job. I lost my mom. Um my ex left me and my dad died sure. all at the same time so center stage helped me there get through a very yeah. difficult time okay uh, i see kevin mateus there saying uh, hello kevin it's your name, <laughs> it's it's saying, my nails. This, this is Ooh. your five minute call <laughs> 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 that's Wendy. That's Wendy's job. She comes in before. Says, "This is your five-minute call." So, um, as I was telling, what was I telling you, Gina? Yes. Uh, My goodness. Anyway. Uh, yes, yes. Yes. So, um, oh man, I've forgotten now my train of thought with yes. starting how at. Start? Yes, yes. How did you start? Yeah. So, I mean, you, 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 were, you were. Lynette got you into the to the front of house, and then yep. and then the first show that you would have done then. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Sorry, because I think it's quite funny. And yeah. I'm going to apologize um, in advance to someone. And it's the artist's name that I'm going to mention. <laughs> and it's not how I feel, okay? But because I used to book for so many shows, my ex said, if I ever have to see another Duck Charles show again, it would be too soon. Duck, I love you. So <laughs> if you... <laughs> That was not how I uh, felt. <laughs> oh, no, Duck was doing That's a lot of shows. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, I, I'm joking. I, mean, I was playing with Duck at that time as well. I remember we were doing Sticky Fingers. Yep, I um, saw you in the Opera House. In the Opera House, Before okay. I even started with Centre Stage. Sticky Fingers was our Rolling Stone show. And I loved it. It was one of my favourites. Still is one of I my favourites. And I know that Duck wants to come up again and do a, do another Stone show. So we will be doing something. I'm pretty sure oh, we're going to be doing wait, something. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. see... Thurl. 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 Hello, Thurl Burns. Hello, Thurl. Are you eating now? Nice? Hello, Candy. That's my youngest friend. Candy. My candy. Candy, okay. yeah. Du toi. Du toi, yeah. <laughs> Belle heure du, du toi. <laughs> oh, Cathy. And so, so you know, Doug Charles, that was, uh, so that was, that was well, yes, pre-Centre Stage. Yes, well. that was before I started with Centre Stage. Then I started, as I say, 21 years ago on the 10th of September. And my, f it was at the in those days it was at the Harbour Sports Cafe. Yeah. And um, the show that I worked at was Sex, Bugs, and Rock and Roll. Ooh, and you still went to the, it's quite racy title that as well. Well, I mean, I had no, yeah. <laughs> I had no choice in what show it was. <laughs> that was and hard. I loved it. I loved yes. it. Yes. When you walked into the um, Harbour Sports Cafe, 
they had in the entrance, oh, and I've often asked Gary, where are they? These stunning pictures of all the different artists who were up on the wall. So you walked in almost like a, a theatre on the bay kind of feel yes, when yes. you walked in there. All those photos. Yes, yeah. it does give you a, give you a nice yes, feel when, you, when yes. you come in. So that's where I first started. At, that was the venue. Somebody's asking for a last minute booking. Sure. Karin, Not a problem. Thank you, Wendy. Sure. For all your last minute booking and squeezing us in. <laughs> You, you must learn to get your tickets early. Hello, Charles. <laughs> Hello, Charles. Charles Leslie of Go FM is representing. Hello, Philippa. <laughs> and Pauline Thompson. Oh, uh, yes, go. Pauline, we all love duck. and oh, Yes, we do, awesome. we do. Anyway, so Sex, Bugs and Rock and Roll. And um, the Harbour Sports Cafe, I don't know, it had a special vibe about it. It was awesome. Uh, well, I loved do you, it. Do you remember some of the shows we did? I mean, I, Oh, we did... In those days, Gary used to bring artists from around the country. Yeah. To. Well, I know Eminent and Child did something there. We were, I was playing but, with Eminent and Child. But don't forget, so. I, I, when I, you might have performed there before I started. Uh, I don't possibly, know. possibly. Yeah. Uh, Eminent and Child. And also, I think we're doing Eagles. Um, I think it was like an Eagles thing. Um, uh, there was an um, a Epi. Epi and the Boys. That was at the Hellenic. Yeah. That's no, the first no. time I ever saw you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'll we say something about at, at, at Harbour Sports as well. And we did a show with um, Anton Carlitz there as well. I seem to remember doing that. Uh, it was uh, uh, Eminent Child and and John Cougar Mellencamp okay. together. And okay. I don't know if no. you were there at those no, days. No, I wasn't there then. Just, I wasn't just working. Before. I couldn't have been working there then. Oh, it might have been. Was no, it at no. the Harbour Sports Cafe? Harbour Sports Cafe. I remember no, that place. I, Do you I remember the owner? Uh, Mm, yeah, I remember his name, but... Etienne? No, wasn't it Andre? Andre. I don't know. Etienne. Oh, no, sorry. Etienne. No, I, think I it was, don't know. I didn't it was a big guy. Oh, I didn't get involved yes, with that. Uh, I only did front of house, and it was really... It was awesome. I loved meeting the clients. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was also very stressful for me, my fir first time yes. I worked. Um, quite a few. Well, the first lot of shows that I worked there. Yeah. Because... And um, in, back in those days, yes. we would arrive at work and we were given a seating plan. Uh -huh. And okay. the tables changed, the numbers changed every week. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and these people would arrive, oh, Nicholas, hello, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's her son. It's no, her it's, son. It's, yes, and if Andre's watching, I must say thank you, Andre, for being so kind to Nick. And showing him the ropes on the, the sound desk. Yes, sound. Oh, of course, Nick, thank you. Nick was our, our sound man That's for many, right, many years. Yeah. And, and now he's doing all sorts of sound now. And he's Ralph like, and Shanine, look. Yeah, Ralph and Shanine all the way from Cape Town. <laughs> Asa Fontaine, hello. <laughs> Lovely to have you. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> all right. Tag Leslie, please. She's also in Asa Fontaine. We want more people from Cape Town. Anyway, uh, so yes. we were given a, like a seating plan and... Yeah. The clients would arrive, and now you've got to look for the name, okay? And then you've got to go and find the table, and I stressed big time. <laughs> Hence the Little Red Riding Hood picnic basket. There's the basket. The, the basket. Because basket. Uh, Hen basket. Wendy, Wendy always has a basket with her wherever she goes. She got her basket. My basket there, broke. There we go. Brian Wilkins says, Wendy never sat down for the full duration of a show ever. It was wonderful to support the boardwalk team. Wonderful memories. God bless you, oh, Wendy. Oh, thank and you, Lynette. Brian. Thank you, Brian. Lovely. We miss you. Some great memories at the boardwalk. Absolutely. Uh, wasn't Graham Vass's uh, 50th at the That Wilbur? was the second show I worked at. The second Graham show. Graham Vass's 50th birthday. Um, return of the pink panties. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you grab um, like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Aaron and Lisa. That's right. And yes. I loved it when Lisa, she'd like, look at the symbol. symbol. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> legs. Those legs of hers. Yeah. <laughs> was well, awesome. When, and Aaron's been on the show, of course, as well. Yes. But I've got to get Lisa on as well. Yes, as well, as without, a doubt, without a doubt. Must. Charmaine Webb. Hello, Hello Charmaine. Hello, Charmaine. <laughs> <laughs> your support's out strong oh, tonight, that, thank you I really appreciate that I miss seeing all of you uh, and, and Wendy I, I mean I know from, from us and I know from Gary you, you, you've always been so loyal to Centre Stage over all these years you know and, uh, and there's been ups and downs and things have gone wrong and, things, and, and whatever the show has been I think Wendy's probably been to every single show that we've ever done I really do think she, and I, like, I mean, even when there's a run of shows she comes to all of them <laughs> well, yes, you there might. was some, there was 
some shows you even in knew. the beginning in the beginning and yeah. i i think i'd like to maybe mention it but we had a show at the harbor sports cafe with ben um Voss. Voss and john van der Rey, yes. and it was called the final cut and it was all about um i wasn't so strict <laughs> <laughs> sorry i shouldn't have seen that sorry everybody <laughs> So strict. She would do booking between 30 and 40 people and it was like Oh yes, you had, had to be money. paying your money, I'm sorry. You had to pay I, your money. Otherwise we couldn't work and have shows. That's the <laughs> bottom line. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, uh, uh, thanks Dave. Dave Jackson. Hello well. Dave. I miss you and Susie and Cherokee. <laughs> Time for another flight, yes. And a milkshake. She likes her uh, Friesland milkshakes. That's it. Okay, so uh, you were talking about okay, the Okay, the final cut, right. Yes. It was a cricket show, and um, I knew, th I worked at all of the shows, and I knew the script off by heart. But <laughs> <laughs> I've done that with your shows. I oh, also no. know the script <laughs> off by heart. Oh, no, yes. And I laugh all, just as hard every time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, Lynette, she volunteered me to do it. Let's corpse them, okay? So... On the side of the stage, in one um, portion of the show, there was a jacket, okay? Yeah. And Ben, you know Ben's tall yes, and thin, yes. right? Ben had to pick up this jacket and put it on, and then he had to shoot John. And there was a gun in the... Oh, the pocket. So Lynette said to me, can you um, go and take the jacket and put a lady's jacket there? She gave me this lady's jacket, so off I did it, you know? Now the show starts and it's going. And I knew it off by heart. And so anyway, Oh, shoot, the gun, the gun. Oh, the gun, Where's the gun? Okay. Here comes the point. <laughs> ben picks up and he, the sleeves came up to you. <laughs> and he's like squashed into the... <laughs> and I had to quietly like sneak to the end of the stage and just put the gun on the stage and he saw it and he had to keep a straight face. <laughs> yeah, so like, we had a lot of fun. Oh, um, no. Crazy stuff. No, I, yeah. I, no, I know that... that um, uh, Gary was, was telling, I think you must tell the story about the, you know, there's some crazy stuff that you've had to, uh, that you've okay. had to do for center like, stage itself. Yes. Not, um, only, not only with, with the people, but also with the artists. Well, you know, in the early days, I mean, sometimes we would do the lights, we'd, even the spot, I wanted to yes. take oven gloves to work because <laughs> the spot was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Still got that same spot. Still there. But, um, yes, we had a, a double, I don't even call it a double header. We had two shows, a 6 and a 9 p.m. Button Soir was the one, and John Flissmas. And you know how passionate, well, I don't know if you do know how passionate I am about yes. what I do. Um, and a lot of the times, Lynette would ask me, would you go and fetch the artist from the airport, or would you do this, blah, blah. And happily, I'd do it. So yes. I fetched John Flissmas, okay. took him to his guest house, anyway, went to work. And suddenly it's like, I don't know what, it's getting near like seven o'clock. And I, now, Button Soir is a show where you've got to keep quiet, okay, because yes. it's all just dialogue, so no yes. noise. And, no, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I went to Lynette and I said, Where's John? Oh. Okay, off I go to go and fetch John. <laughs> Friday night, eight o'clock. Hugh Road is the guest house. You know how busy it is? Yes. And oh, I get to the soul. guest house and I push the bell. No answer. I push it again. No answer. So at 8 o'clock at night, what the people must have thought, and that had huge high wrought iron gates, I climbed over the <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to get him. I knew I had to get him. So I, <laughs> oh, I climbed soul. over the gate. I could have robbed them blind because I, I, I walked around. Mm -hmm. I went into the house, <laughs> not security. a soul in sight, and then they're all like these cottages in the garden, and I had to knock on each one. His door. <laughs> and eventually I found John. Is John Blissmas here? Is John Blissmas here? Is John... <laughs> thank heavens he had a remote, <laughs> so we could get out and I didn't have to climb. Oh, and lovely. thank heavens I wore pants that night. Oh, <laughs> not good, a dress. Yes, oh, good. Well, at least a top, anyway. <laughs> I see Megan Vass. Hello, Megan Vass. Hello, Megan. <laughs> We're just talking about your husband's birthday. <laughs> yes, when... Do you remember when it was Graham's 50th birthday? That was my second show I ever worked at for Centre Stage. I'll never oh, forget man. that. Yeah. Never forget it. And it, well, it, you said it was the, the pink, the pink the panties. The revenge of the pink panties. Absolutely. <laughs> she was. Yeah. I think I did Graham's 60th. Wow. Yes, I think I did his 60th, if I remember correctly. I think I did something like that. 
and his farewell from the boardwalk. We, we, we're gonna have we're gonna have a special one with Graham sometime. Graham, be warned, we're gonna get you on at some stage. Hello, Carol. <laughs> Hello, Carol Clients Jean. who have become friends. Oh, there's so many of them. You're one of them. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And uh, okay, so uh, like embarrassing okay. moments. Oh well, not for me. For whom? Artists. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've seen everything on stage. So, uh, you remember stuff that I can't even remember. Um, I must have been plenty as myself as well. Um, some embarrassing moment. And sorry, I've also forgive whoever I'm going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, Wayne, I love you. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to say this now. Oh, oh, Wayne and his flies always done. But that's, oh, his that's flies not, always done. No, tag Wayne, tag but, Wayne, please. But that's not what I'm going to say. <laughs> Shame, I felt so for Wayne the one night. I'm sure it was one of his early shows, and I'm sure it was the Beatles. Beatles. And you know how Wayne, you've noticed when he always like, he leans back, he does something <laughs> with his, well, he always leans back. He yes, misstepped yes. and he fell flat on his bum yes. on the stage. Shame. No, I remember that. Do you remember that? That was Queen. Was it that Queen? was Queen, just to explain. Wayne Callis. <laughs> When he's playing guitar, he closes his eyes and, and, <laughs> and he, he plays back. He leans back. Oh, and he just loves it so much. He's got so much going on in his head, okay? That he leans back so far that he actually lost his balance and fell backwards. And his oh, pedals, shame, all his guitar pedals, shame, shame. he kicked up his guitar pedals. They all landed on top of him as well. So he had, he was just, he had nothing left. He couldn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, well, another one, it was also in the very early days, and it, it, it was actually at the Tootsie Karma Conference Center. We had Kevin Feather brought the Duwa Boys, oh. okay? And the stage was, you know, like a, um, a fashion, when you go to a fashion show with the long ramp. It was, yes. all, um, it was all draped, and then, of course, the stage there. And one of the do he had to run onto the stage. Well, he missed. He didn't realize that it was just a narrow little ramp. Oh, and he God. fell into the... <laughs> oh, oh, no. my when you fall on stage, there's nothing you can no, do. But he disappeared. Yeah. I mean, there he was, and he, he must have he down he and went, gone. and we didn't see him the next minute. <laughs> Shame, I felt so for him. Well, I, think, I think we've all wiped out, uh, broken our shins on, on uh, pieces of stage before. Uh, yes, Marilise uh, Boyens. Uh, if, if anybody tags, tag Marilise because she will remember the story. Marilise Boyens. Um, awesome. <laughs> yes, yes, and Austin Powers. We did, we did an Austin Powers show in Grahamstown. We used to do the bowling club. Remember the bowling club, of course. And, uh, and, and I remember um, it was frenetic. We would, we'd get off stage and we'd be changing and, we'd, and, and, and it was a crazy staircase backstage from the bowling club in, in Grahamstown. And I don't know if any of you remember the Grahamstown shows, but they were always packed with people and they were, it was insane. The, 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 the vibe was insane. So, so uh, there were the curtains, there were curtains that were blocking the, the backstage area. And I just remember hearing Murray Lee's going, well, I'll see you again, Mr. Powers or whatever it was. And she, and she, and I just saw at the bottom of the, uh, of, of the curtain, some, some white or some, some like shaggy carpet or something coming out the bottom. But it was actually Marilise's hair. <laughs> <laughs> because she'd fallen down the stairs head first. <laughs> Frau. Uh, Frau. You know, Frau, you know, Frau had fallen down, her wig come, came off, and, she, and, and it was her head that had to pick her up and revive her. Poor Marilise, I love you, Marilise. <laughs> I love that show, Awesome Power. I see you talking about it. I see you. Oh, two many long John. Yes, Wasn't that an old grey or where was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tuba. Tuba's the only one that can wear long johns and do sound check. I'm we're, not we're strict, strict, Dave. Yeah, she is. She is very strict, you know. I you? didn't lock Wayne out of the. No ways. <laughs> Wayne always forgot stuff. We had to unlock and go back in and get it once we'd finished shows. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, tell me, I, I mean, uh, any, any pranks? I know uh, Gary was talking about pranks. Oh, yes, and I have cleared with, it with him. Okay, okay. Because tell I am going to tell it. Tell <laughs> us the story. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, when you do bookings and whatnot, you get phone calls all the time. Yes. Whether it doesn't matter what day. But I started getting phone calls at 1, 2 in the morning. Oh. And it... It unnerved me, and I didn't know who it was. So uh, the next day, I would look it up the number, and I put it into my phone, and I put scare. I put it scare one. 
<laughs> scared for one. Because I was scared. <laughs> Okay. And I even went onto the WhatsApp profile to see if I'd sort the picture, who yeah, it was, yours, what it, yeah. and I remember speaking to Gary and telling him about it. So he said, Well maybe we should get you another phone, you know, so you can switch one the centre stage one off at night. Yes. Anyway. Well, if years go by. When did Kanya come back to PE? Oh, about uh, three years yes, ago. Yes, three years ago, yes. I got this WhatsApp. Wendy, Gary said I can have some comps. Scare one. <laughs> Kanya. <laughs> oh, please, somebody tag Kanya Motomele in the comments. <laughs> Kanya told, was... So I said, you scare one. He said, I've grown up. I've been You were drunk, darling, you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you, you bastard? Often. <laughs> I'm sure. Quite a few, no, well, when I, it happened a few nights. <laughs> oh, no. Any, any disasters that, that you've had to deal with as well? Okay, you know? yes. The boogeyman. What, who said who was the boogeyman? That, I think that was Phil. Yeah. Oh, well, there's someone from Ireland as well. Oh, from, from Ireland. From Ireland. Oh, hello there, from Ireland. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn Madison. <laughs> Lovely to see you. <laughs> or, or Has she become a nun? No. Over in Ireland. No, no Lynn, you're not a nun yet. <laughs> Well, best to look, best to look in the, you know, in the nunnery. I hope that you, <laughs> may the Lord bless you. <laughs> um, the disaster, which yes. is quite, it's um, serious. Yes, oh. Okay, I was at a funeral. Oh, yes. My doctor died, okay. Yes. And then, so my phone was off. And yes. I'd come straight up and put my phone on. Boo, about 10 missed calls from Gary. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Disaster, the Durban debacle when you were hostages. Oh, yes. And I have to give a shout out to particularly Pauline, front of house. Yes. Pauline, between Pauline and I, we phoned every single client that booked that whole Durban run. Yeah. yeah told yeah, them yeah. what had happened because you had to cancel those that shows. It was a panic, yeah. Well, just to explain, um, for those of you who don't know, myself and, and Ian von Memity, did a, it was a common in class. It was a common in class show that we did at the Snedden in, in, in Durban. And uh, I think there were three nights in, uh, we had, we would yeah, get our, our bookings were starting in. to pick up, everything was going. And then whack, there was a, 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 a university protest. Uh, they were protesting about something completely different, but yeah. they saw a whole lot of people at the, uh, at the theater yeah. well, and they just, time. they decided, well, that's a good place to go and protest. So they, they kept us, they held us hostage, myself and Ian, and the entire audience in, in, uh, in Durban, uh, in, in, in the back of the Snedden. And we had to wait there for three hours while, while the riot police came to get the people away and negotiate and say that, oh, you know, we had nothing to do with this, so please can you move away? And so they eventually let us out. Um, but by that stage, of course, it was in the newspapers and our run was completely dead. We had to find a new venue. So we got thousands of tickets. And yeah, we because they, bo they booked right for your whole yes, run. Yes, we booked, everybody booked for the, the entire run. run. So now you've and then the third night in, two week run, the third night in, we have to change venues. And so Wendy and, and Pauline, Pauline, Pauline and the we, girls. We had to phone all the clients to tell them what had happened. And by then you and Ian had secured the other venues. Yes. And we had to rebook them and also shout out to Computech, to Cheryl wow, Van Duren, yes. who we always used to deal with in the beginning. And then we had, when we loaded shows, um, we had to go to Cape Town. But Cheryl took over that and I, oh, she loaded all those new shows within, I don't know, it was such a... It was like an hour or something. It was ridiculous. unbelievable. So, um, within... Penny like Wallace, days, was Penny was Wallace something. at that show? Tell her she's very brave. Let me tell you, when, when you are um, backstage and or in, in a building, uh, confined space with 300 Auntie people. Auntie Viv's late. Auntie Viv's a bit late, yes. I hope <laughs> that you get the prize tonight, Auntie Viv. So, Sorry, Viv. Uh, Gria, hello, Gria. Nice hello, to Gria. see you. <laughs> but, you know, um, uh, when, you, when you're stuck inside uh, and, and, there's, and there were 200 protesters outside and they were banging on the doors and, and you just don't know if they're going to get in and start attacking people and 
there were old people there there were you know disabled people we just didn't know what was going to happen and at, at, let me tell you so that lady that was there uh, penny hello penny wallace thank you for sticking that out with us that was a hell of a time let me tell you but i think we saved it in we the did end. and uh, i mean really we it did. was unbelievable it would have been a complete yeah, disaster. Utter disaster, disaster if it was not yeah. for that we we still had a it was a big knock but uh, but we got through it because of that and it was still successful because Good. of the of your work Good. that you put in well, so love a that. few of us yes a, a, absolutely a few, not just me i could never have done it all on my own <laughs> all right and okay so now let's let's get up for, for the most disastrous memory to the to the fondest memories what are the best memories okay for, for me right um i'll go the first well shall i say the first one uh, three years after I started working at Centre Stage, um, I think our run at the Titsi Karma or the contract had come to an end, okay, and um, we had to find a new venue or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. And I'll never forget, before the show, the sh uh, it was the beginning of August, Gary told us front of house that we wouldn't be needed anymore because, you know, we're going to be finishing at the Tissy Karma Conference Centre. the boardwalk, yeah. Yep. Anyway, had to do what I had to do, show people to their seats, blah, 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 which I did. Mm -hmm. And once everyone was seated, I came out of that, out of the, the room and into the foyer and I burst into tears. It felt mm. like, and I, I really mean it because I, that's how much I love what I do. It felt like a piece of my heart had been ripped out. But I didn't know Gary was standing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a picture. And you see, that was Gary, our last show. You have show. to lean that one way or the other way to see around it. <laughs> there we go. That's like, yes, uh, that, looks, that looks like Zelda. Zelda, uh, Linda, Greer, Terry, and me. Oh, Linda. Zelda, yeah, she Hello, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> and Terry. <laughs> and that's Terry. Oh, lovely. So that, that was the boardwalk team. Yeah, well, yes, in those days. Okay. And... I was in floods of tears and of course I stumbled across Gary and what he said actually was one of the, what is the word that you used? One of my fondest memories yes, yes. because his, his answer to me was, it just meant so much. He, he could not believe, he said, you're the only one who ever, who's shed a tear and he was very touched by it and that actually touched me. Uh, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Gary, because... <laughs> Gary's <laughs> over here. He's sorry, over here. sorry, I'm here with this if I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but it really did touch me. Oh, sure. And then the other thing... Um, well, of course, that wasn't the end, actually. No, it wasn't, but yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she Greer, so I'm, she remembered oh, that. Oh, do you remember? You yes, look we so did. young, because you were oh, so we like young, Greer. <laughs> Um, and the other fondest memory for me, now, you know what I'm like? You were taking Mumford to Cape Town. Yes. I was very jealous. I was so jealous. <laughs> you always jealous. want to come with us. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. And I hugged Gary and I, please can't I go to Cape Town? Please. <laughs> Gary, I'll work. You don't have to pay me. I just want to go. I want to be part. Because that was history in my opinion. Yes, yes. Like, and I wanted to be part of it. Yes. Anyway, so... I got my way. <laughs> well, no, 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 you went to, <laughs> so you went came to with us to Cape I remember that, yes. absolutely. And you guys cooked for it us. Was, oh, it was oh, amazing. I know. It was, and then that show was awesome. Was anyway. Um, dressed up for the occasion, yes. The colour suits me. Thank you so much, love. <laughs> it's my zebra suit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was the night before. Yeah, Kim just saying you glow from what you do. Cause oh, I'm, you know, I'm actually... Biological age and you look way oh, younger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's my 50th. I'm 50. Now, also, she's also 50. She stayed 50 a few years ago. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it so me? Is it me glowing? Who's glowing, you? Kim? I am from embarrassment. It's me. You can go, tss. It's me glowing. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me finish. Yes, okay, go, go. For it. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it's a month. <laughs> Sorry if I get a little bit no, too excited. It. It's fine. <laughs> it wasn't like a, an, an, an exciting thing, but I loved the Mumford and yes. being part of that bloody, bloody blah. Anyway, yeah. it was the last night when we had that bride. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I locked myself out of my bedroom. <laughs> I was so stressed. We're leaving 
early tomorrow. Oh, how am I, what am I going to do? How am I going to, what stuff. if we can't get the guy who runs the, the, the house, the actor's mm-hmm. house? But I didn't tell anyone I was stressed. But you know who picked up on it? You will never, ever, ever guess. And that me, it meant so much to me. You go. Wayne. 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 Oh, good and, on you, Wayne. Then, no, no, seriously, Gina. Oh, he's a sensitive <laughs> no, soul, yes. yes. No, he yeah, is. Seriously, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Drives me mad, but he's a sensitive yeah, soul. Well, yes. I mean, <laughs> and I will always, Wayne, that moment you came, we were having supper, I was sitting at a little table by myself in the dining room there, oh, and he came and he sat across the table and he said to me, Don't worry, we'll, we're going to sort it. You know what I mean? And that meant so much to me. Coming from Wayne. Yes. Wayne, really. I love you, Wayne, and thank you for doing that. <laughs> okay. No, your, 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 your funny yes. issues, your center stage is a family. I've got, I've got Philippa chirping on this side and Gary <laughs> chirping on that side. We got, we <laughs> All right, so, um, and funniest moment. Now, um, your funniest moment, I've got, a, oh. I've got a little video. I've got a little video oh. from, because Alan... Alan, our sound man, and my sound guy that travels travels the the the, the country with me with my comedy. Alan Kozak has uh, been our sound guy for many many years, and she obviously he obviously deals a lot with you always. And so you guys have had many heart to hearts. But he had a funny story, and I'm going to play that for you right now. Hey, Wendy, I hope you're uh, having a cool show there. It's about time you were in a show as opposed to watching one. Um, Since we're all looking back on those wonderful times uh, at the shows, I couldn't uh, not mention this one particular moment where your your skills as a front of house lady really shone, and that was when that chap uh, called us over, and I'm sure you remember the exact moment, Uh, and he was fuming about something which I think related to him being seated at the wrong table. And I don't think we got between the two of us a word off in our defense. Not that it was my job, but, you know, since I'm always wearing that center stage shirt, people think I'm one of the front of the house people, I guess. And uh, we stood very patiently and professionally listening while he was ranting. And as he sort of peaked with frustration, he just vanished into thin air. And I remember looking wondering how the hell did Wendy do that how did she make him magically disappear because that's exactly what I wanted to do turns out his chair had given way and he was sitting under the table in the dark all alone (laughs) with his thoughts and uh, yeah that was just one of those moments where it wasn't appropriate to laugh at all and I don't think either of us did but I do recall turning around and walking swiftly away and dying, falling down with laughter, thinking, man, it's funny how these things work. But uh, anyway, Wendy, what a wonderful treat it's been to work with you uh, all this time. And you've put in many more years than me, and still you maintain such a professional aura about you. I don't think I've ever seen you lose it with anyone. And and boy, your job can be stressful because you're kind of face-to-face with the public. So... Congratulations on 21 years. That is what we're celebrating, I believe. And thank you so much for being a good friend. And I've always enjoyed our little conversations that we've had between shows, before shows, and even sometimes during the show. All the best, Wendy. Take care and love you lots. Oh, I love you too, Alan Capellan. Oh. Alan, she's uh, always, uh, you know, and, and uh, this this uh, speaks volumes for, for the kind of person that you have to be to be um, to be a, a front of house. You have to have a lot of patience and be blonde. Because, yes, <laughs> sometimes blonde. be blonde. <laughs> you know, and I think um, I, I know that I have a story of my, of my, of my own because we we um, we had the band obviously, and and uh, and we had a uh, with Evan and Child. I, I remember I'll never forget having the door guy. Always we had to find there's somebody to do the door, and um, who's going to take the money? And we had a guy, uh, a friend of, of Darren's, who, who was actually deaf. He was couldn't hear it uh, from from birth. He was uh, he was deaf, and he used to listen to the to the music by by sitting on our bass bins. But he was our door guy because he he just he used to uh, work as our door guy, 
and and he was absolutely fantastic. He used to listen to the music with with with, his, with a feel, you know. But but he was the best at the door because whenever there was an excuse, like <laughs> like oh, no, no, I, I know the owner or listen, I I I I got special comps from somebody else. He just say, I'm deaf. Five <laughs> red. <laughs> I can say that. Right, right. I can say that now because of my age. I'm losing my a bit losing of my, my hearing as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good, it's a good quality for a doorman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, to, not to have that. <laughs> oh my word! All the Elson Academy fundraisers, an absolute gem. When yes, absolutely for the charities that you've done many, many charities. But I, Viv, I love what I do. Um, and I don't know. I just love what I do. I love it. So it's not a job. Um, uh, your, 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 uh, what's that? Linda Trollope, Wendy, you're so amazing that you handle this interview like you're a pro. <laughs> I'm not a pro. Well, you're not. I'm not a pro. <laughs> oh, no, my memory started with Stanley Sage now, and I love everyone so much. Linda, you're a nutcase, but we love you as well. Can I, when, like when she says a pro, which makes me think of center stage, right? Back in the day, yes, <laughs> back in the yes, day, you know, like I'd say it. Back in the day. <laughs> Um, I used to always buy a lotto ticket. Oh, right. And I don't know if I ever told Gary, but I know I've told Front of House. Because I knew exactly how much it used to cost to get that performer to Port Elizabeth. He's got to fly. He's yeah. got to sleep yeah. somewhere. And it costs money. Absolutely. So you've got to have lots of bums in seats yeah. to cover <laughs> that cost. And, you know. So mm -hmm. I used to take a lotto ticket every week. And I'd always say, oh, I hope I win the lotto. Because if I do... Number one, I'm going to buy centre stage a venue. And number two, I'm going to buy a guest house and call it backstage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Please, whoever runs a lotto, just give it to her, man. Just make a plan. <laughs> Stuart Potkitter, amazing photographer. Thank you, Stuart. Oh, yeah. yes. Stuart from the Music the Kitchen. Music Kitchen, uh, music yes. kitchen he takes uh, pics there. An incredible photographer, man. And uh, 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 some of the stuff from my, my last show I did at Music Kitchen oh, before, there's my son. before lockdown. Down. I see Sean Winnie there. Hey, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying hello to uh, Alan. Sean, oh, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, now, now you, don't, you don't have to say me, but your favourite artists, other than me. Well, you are a favourite. Hey, thank uh, you. Can I just say something about G Gino and uh, Philippa, and I mean, I'm not shy to say it. Uh, one thing, and I, have, I did tell you on your birthday, and one thing that I do like, you know, especially when you go, like, go to East London or whatever, and you get audience, and you, afterwards, you know, you guys meet them, and yeah. whatever. You get, sometimes as a woman, you get a guy who... You just get that feeling, okay, yes. I'm married, but <laughs> <laughs> I would always hang on to you. Yes, yeah, no, I get you that. You were my safe, <laughs> you were my safe safety net. <laughs> yeah, I'm don't just, come near okay, me. Okay, I'm friend zone, yes, that's me. Yes, yes. But thank you for that, Tino, <laughs> <a> really. <laughs> uh, so, but I mean, any, any other, like favourite artists, favourite shows? I've got a, artists. okay, I mean I've got lots. Uh, that's it's horrible because yes. I can't list them all. Okay, but definitely okay. Duck. Uh, duck. Lionel. Woo! Lionel. Elvis and Johnny Cash. Lionel Hunt <laughs> all the way. The Elvis, the Johnny Cash. Absolutely. Um, I can mention. I love Joseph Clark. I love sure. Cito Martin. Brilliant. Okay. Um, from Wonderboom. Wonderboom. Um, <laughs> yeah, are you drinking gin there? Who, me? Yes, there we go. We, we tried to give her some, you know, Sean, but she just won't take it. Sean, me. I will go to hospital, my boy, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't tried for a while. So. <laughs> uh, the CD's on there. Yes. Well, also, one of the best times I had was when Sean worked at Centre Stage, and I yes. loved working with my son. I really, really, really did. It was special. Legend, Sean. Love you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so favourite artists. Ian from Mimity. Yeah. Can I, like I tell you a story about Ian? Yes, okay. please, please. I, I know love I have those. told him, but he's, you know, <laughs> he bounces those. around like you. I don't know if yes. he ever took it in. <laughs> but I used to... Um, help at the, the Christmas teas. You know, Evie and Maria had the Christmas shop every year? Yes, yes. And oh, yes. then they would have a like a, um, a Christmas tea on the Saturday and then they'd have an evening show, okay? okay. And I remember Carol and K 
teller her telling me that they were having Ian van Nemity. This is handful of keys, man, and what an awesome performer. And in those days, Paul didn't live here. I only saw him once every six weeks. But your husband, Paul. Yes, yeah, my so husband. My yes. husband is Paul. Paul, okay. And so I would have to, I'd have to do things on my own. But I was dying to see Ian. I'd always heard handful of keys. And no one would sell me a single ticket. <laughs> so I couldn't go. Okay. Anyway, I also used to go up to Standerton. And the show... Ian was doing the last where he was actually performing. Yeah. It was at that point in time. And we booked, Paul had booked my ticket to go to Johannesburg. And um, the, the show was going to be on in Johannesburg. So what we would do, maybe, then we would book to see the show, stay over in Joburg and then travel to Standerton. Right. Anyway, booked the flights and Ian decided that that was finished. He came to PE. <laughs> so I go all the way to Johannesburg and Ian's performing in PE. Yet again, I can't see you know, him. Isn't that typical of Ian? You know, he's so he's spiteful. So spiteful. <laughs> Tag Ian von Mimity, please. Spiteful man. Anyway, <laughs> we were doing the C CCR show. Yes. And it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wow, Tuesday yes. was free, and I was working at all shows. Ian came down to Port Elizabeth to do Captain Fantasia. Captain ah. Fantastic. Oh, well, what? Fant was it Fantasia or Fantastic? Fantast I think Whatever. it was Captain Fantastic. I yeah. Now I'm going to see him. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Paul Stocksiel Leon. Okay. Front row. <laughs> Table C, Carol. Front row. <laughs> That wouldn't, be, that wouldn't be the last, the first time. That's why I'm sure you've been up there. Before. Anyway, so there you go. Now I'm going, at last, third time lucky I'm going to see Ian. Starts the show, five minutes into the show. Whoops, stop. His stage hand collapsed in the sound box up the bar. Cancelled oh, the show son. and I got my money back. So oh, I never wow. saw him more. So, Ian, what did you do no. to your stage people? <laughs> I, I know what punishment I've been through, Ian von Memity. <laughs> yes, tag him, Linda. Tag him. I, no, I love you. I, no, lo I, I absolutely love you. And I, I love, love the two of you together. No, Ian, like, Ian and oh. I have, have uh, found another brother from another mother there. He's absolutely amazing, amazing man. So oh. that was the answer to that. My favorite. I've got lots and lots and lots. Uh, I know you always talk about the, the, the G, the D. Oh, the GJs. Oh, Tell me about the whoa, GJs. Oh, the this G was before my time. Dur yes, it was before your time. They're from Durban. Um, there was Gary, uh, not our Gary, but, and they would do the skit. You know when you do um, Penis, what's it? Minuto yes. Penis, okay. Italian man. And you sing for all the girls. Like <laughs> 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 and you, the words. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm referring to? You so they wore these, like, well, yellow with big flower, like board shorts that yes. they came to here. Okay. And then they'd stick up their tummies <laughs> and they'd have no top on. <laughs> okay? Of the two, Gary and yeah. I can't remember the teacher. John. John, the teacher. John. Okay? okay. And then they'd call someone up on stage and you'd have to sit when I, and I was called, you know, and they had these two big tummies <laughs> on either side. And then there would be Grant. He was a dreamy one. He was oh, a teacher. Right. Okay. Oh, but I loved them. They were, they did um, the three tonners. <laughs> three tonners. Tonners. <laughs> um, uh, the swooners and crooners. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I just loved them. There, it, there was comedy and there was music. A mix, eh? Yep. And it were that. I loved them so much <laughs> that. Oh, see, you two families both talk so much and laugh too. <laughs> you as well, Lilani. Well, Lilani, <laughs> I, <laughs> <your vein. laughs> I never get a chance to talk anyway, so I'm taking notes. I didn't think I would, but I am. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm but, so nervous. But, 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 but I mean, but, isn't it amazing? Like, like that, that whole yeah. that, uh, type, that type of show, there's, there's not a lot of that around. Danny Fisher is another one who, oh, who yes. does that sort of thing. Yes, yeah. yeah. You know? But I love, as I say, I love that so much. Where yeah. I was working at the time, because don't forget, I used to have a day job. So I mean, yeah. this I used to do at night time. I convinced the company to have our Christmas, because we had shows at lunchtime in those days at the Harbour Sports <laughs> Cafe. Yeah, lunchtime. You, you get up lucky. <laughs> yeah, no, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> um, and we had our Christmas party there at lunchtime. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So I started marketing in those days. 
Yeah, for centre stage. stage. Absolutely. And you know, another thing that I used to do, I don't know if Gary ever knows it, but we used to get faxes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> to send them off at 12 o'clock at night. The faxes, when faxes were a thing, it was, you, get, you get the cheap rates after 12. So, of course, Gary <laughs> would then fax everybody in town, even if they just had a telephone line. <laughs> but you know what I used And to wake do? them all up at 12 o'clock. <laughs> do you know what I used to do with those faxes? What? I used to copy them. And I'd go around the neighborhood and put one in everyone's <laughs> post box. The <laughs> marketing. Talk about going you know, the extra mile. <laughs> dedicated. Man, dedicated. The wind's lovely like to see you tell me you're saying hello there as well. How do you do a heart? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know, um, it, it's it, it, like, um, we, we, we were talking about relationships <gasps> with clients, you know, built up a relationship with the clients. So, so yes, I do love Khan Morby. Oh, And Khan. it's B-E-E, -E, Quintus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the spelling. Khan <laughs> Morby. I love Khan Morby, yes. Oh, he's great, he's, Sorry. he's got little tears coming oh, there, is that why? Oh, I love it. Because he, do you know what he want nice, to mother him. Do you know what a nice, no, no, no. No, he's just, a lovely guy. Do you know what a nice person he is? Yeah. Well, I, he comes across as a nice person, so no, I think he is. No, yeah. I've met him, lovely guy, he's a lovely guy. Uh, do you remember those facts? And <laughs> having to reconcile <laughs> those bookings, yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, so clients, you? clients, interesting relationships with clients. Oh, I mean, you can see it already because okay. the comments are coming through. Okay, I'm yeah. going to mention okay the, the yes, some of the I mean, clients. Um, yes, I know a lot of them, um, but obviously I'm going to say before we even open a show, table is firmly booked. Table C for Carol Furry, without a doubt. <laughs> Carol okay. Jean and Carol. Um, I don't know. If I can, I always yeah. hope that she has one person who doesn't pitch because then I get to sit in the front oh, as well. Okay, so then you hook in, you hook in there as well. Okay. I have oh, many, excellent. many, many a time. So yes, a client who, who is comes quite close, mm. close to me, okay? Yeah. Um, another one I have to mention, and he knows that I'm going to say this. <laughs> I, have, I have prepped him. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Who is that? Uh, Carl Illenberger. Oh. Alan Gordon, if you are... Carl and Leanne. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Carl comes to all the shows, okay? Yes. We had a show, I can't remember what it was, and was it at Old Grey, Friday night? And I mean, I know Carl's the normal people who come to the show, so they're yeah. arriving. <clears throat> and I look at them and I think, ooh. <laughs> so I said, are you coming to the show? Your call booked. I said, no, he didn't book. <laughs> oh, yeah, he booked for tonight. <laughs> now, I can't argue. Yes. And I certainly don't have my computer in front of me. <laughs> yeah, you've <laughs> so you got your basket. <laughs> I've got my basket, Jordan. <laughs> 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 so I turned phone in Carl. We're full. Yeah, I soul. mean, he's going to have a table of eight. Where am I going to put Carl? The table of eight. Anyway, Carl arrives um, and he said, I booked. So I said, okay, Carl. Anyway, we, I don't know how we <laughs> did it, but we in. squeezed in, and how can you squeeze an old grey? <laughs> it's squashed as it is. <laughs> we got him in. Well, okay. Carl's quite thin, he's quite thin, so it's fine. Anyway, so that night, straight off to the show, on my computer, and I look. <laughs> he booked for Saturday. Oh, he booked the wrong night. Carl, you were the blonde, not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made and a plan. I don't know, Carl, um, I've built up a relationship where yeah. I don't mean it in an ugly way. I yeah, can speak yeah, to him absolutely. like that. And another time, yes. it was the full Colin show. <laughs> Leanne. Oh, no, 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 Leanne. I'll be yeah. nice. Oh. I love Carl. I love Carl. <laughs> and you know, your friends are watching. Cam and Gordon are watching in England. Okay. But anyway, another time, Leanne. Um, was it? Leanne. Illinois. Oh. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, Carl's yeah, sorry, right. sorry. Yes, 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 that is Carl. Another right. time. Carl booked to see Phil Collins. Phil Collins, yes. Okay. And there was a couple who arrived, and I know them as well. It was mm. Gail to Blanche, and they were coming with Carl. So I said, well, where is Carl? I know he's always <laughs> late. I mean, <laughs> no, he's coming. Oh, okay. Anyway, we get to interval. No Carl. <laughs> yeah. Carl arrives. I said, where have you been? I went to Old Grey, <laughs> I went here, I went there, he went everywhere. I said, oh, my God. The God. show was <laughs> Anyway, the second half starts, push, no cheating. Oh, <laughs> no, what <laughs> 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 
that was a lot, a laugh and a giggle. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. Uh, no, I mean, I, 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 the ones that I remember, um, Andrew mm -hmm. Jackson uh, was was always the uh, always in the front row. I mean, these guys that guys that always booked uh, their okay, certain yes. seats, didn't it? Is it the Rolling Stones guy as well, Jane Stevens. <laughs> she talks so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, she can talk a lot when she gets going, you know, Jane. <laughs> what, what did you carry in your basket? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, no. But you can see, it's because I'm passionate, Jane. Yes. That's why. She loves it. She um, loves it. I mean, I, I, I know, I can see that every time you're at the shows, you know. Now, um, anything that, any evenings that stood out for you? Any, uh, you know, folk lords, I know you enjoyed. Well, folklore was interesting because um, I'll never forget we had the opening was Simon and Garfunkel and Roger. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. darkness, my dear old friend. Boop, when the sounds go out. The late lights went out. Yes. <laughs> and shitty. just at that particular point in time, it waited until he'd said, hello, darkness. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we had generators, so we started late. Oh, and, yes, yeah, we got so the we, genies. I know Gary, yeah. Gary got gener mm -hmm. generators as soon as load shooting started so, so many years ago. And, uh, and I mean, uh, you know, that, those, those moments in the shows are, are, are amazing. And I, I, I mean, uh, there's, there's been a couple for me. I don't know. If, uh, what, I know one of yours. Which one? Toast. Toast. Do you know what my favorite thing in toast was? Can you guess? When everybody was lighting up with the with, 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 with the, with the, tuna, the tuning pot. Right, the tuna. And I used to remind you, like, don't tuna. forget to tune. The tuna. Oh, <laughs> tuning the toaster. <laughs> drumming, and then he stops, and then he goes to the no, dog. Uh, sorry. I love that. Tuning. <laughs> you knew the whole show, actually. It doesn't matter. I, I mean, still love that. You still know all, you know all the jokes. I mean, I, I yes, I you, do. You can probably do Minuto Panisa from beginning to end, I think. And the cop. I changed my password to incorrect. I <laughs> changed your password to incorrect. So when you forget your password, your computer says, your password is incorrect, and then you remember. <laughs> oh, no. And also, yes, uh, uh, Pam saying she handles the comps with such finesse. Yes, yes. She says, I'd like a comp, please. No. Can I say something? Then I'm going to be honest yeah. with you. You used to be bad. Oh, I'm oh, terrible. <laughs> when, before I started working with Center Stage, you know, Wendy, until it cost me money, then it was a problem. <laughs> that is the only time I stress. I don't stress. I stress, especially if we are in a venue with fixed seats yes. and uh, we sold. And then once 24 people arrived. Oh, my word. Yep. Oh, my word. I don't know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. uh, that's when I stress. Now, where I have to know that I have got some chairs somewhere, but in yes. fixed venues. Yeah, no, then um, you've got to find a So a that, is, that is a, a problem sometimes. Because I remember, I, I, I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if you remember that, that Magnificent Seven in the, in, in the um, amphitheater, yeah. the tent had just been put on. And it yeah. was thunderstorms <gasps> outside, yes. and the lightning was going yes. on the tent like this. It was the most amazing gig. But I remember at the at the amphitheater at the time there were no seats, so it was just concrete. Yes, it Everybody had cushions. Had yeah. cushions. Mm. And so I think we put nearly a thousand people in. Yep. There were people on the walls. Yep. I hope they but paid. You know, Wendy. I made sure they paid. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. I, I can. I. I'm not. Um. I'm not shy when i'm working i'm, yeah. I'm reserved okay yes. if i go to a show sometimes uh, it'll take me a while to stand up because i'm a little bit reserved in that way but i'm not shy but let me work yes. okay and i'm sorry but you yes <laughs> no you can be quiet no you've got to pay you know yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> No, you can turn the screws. She can turn the screws know, when she needs to. But not in an to. ugly way. <laughs> no, no, no. And never. I'm also human. I have made mistakes. And one <laughs> thing I have learned, and okay, I'll tell you a few things that I've learned, all right, hmm. um, is uh, I got organized when I used to sort out the names into alphabetical order and I used to yeah. take my own table number. That was fine. But one thing I learned from Lynette, always write everything in pencil because it changes all the time. So oh, right. that's, that's one thing. And another thing, if I make a mistake, I'm not scared to say it. I apologize. Yeah, and yeah. I say, I have made a mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and I, nine times out of ten, it diffuses the whole situation. Yeah. Because, yes, I did make a mistake or yes. whatever. It doesn't happen often, but it has happened. Just say, I've made a mistake and then go all mousy, mouse-like. 
<laughs> and ask for forgiveness. <laughs> you so manipulative, Wendy. I'm not. <laughs> uh, if it's right, it's right. She told you, she's saying you're one of the almost organized people that she knows. Lovely memories, you in the basket, Little Red <laughs> Riding Hood. Yes, we call it Little Red Riding Hood because of the basket. Yes. My basket broke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get you another one. <laughs> oh, and um, biggest audience? Oh, the biggest audience was also in the early days at the Feather Market Hall. Remember Big Brother? Big Brother, Ferdy. yes. Bad Brad. No, Ferdy. No, Ferdy, Ferdy. Bad Brad was second, Ferdy won. Yes, Ferdy won, yes. Okay, yes. and we had, yo, if you could have seen the front of house compliment for that, to really? see Ferdy, the queues were like, wow. unbelievable. That's the biggest audience. The and door. another one, which yes. was interesting for me, was in the Titsikama Conference Center, which I think maybe was about 450, sold out, the Cover Boys. Ooh! <laughs> 450 women. Oh my soul. 450 women went out to smoke. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Oh, look at <laughs> All went out with the puffers. <laughs> she was the cover boys. Yep. So a bit of like a hello. No, 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 they were saying, take it off, take it off. Oh, oh, take it off. It was unbelievable. Nice. The noise <laughs> that night was, it was you rowdy. <laughs> Candace saying that you need a new basket. You're right. I'll, no, I'll I don't want that. a basket. I've got my scrapbook bag now. It's much better. Oh I'm my. Okay, now, um, no. I, I, the, the scrapbooks, you were talking about the scrapbooks, because Wendy is a scrapbooker. Now, te first of all, tell me about scrapbooking, because I'm, I'm a bit green when it comes to what it's all about. Okay, if you like photographs, yeah. okay, scrapbooking is like, you, you'll make a little book or whatever, uh, and it's about that photograph, and you, you journal, you, like, it's important to have the date, yeah. um, the time, the place. And maybe if you've got a little story. So if you can remember, hang on, that photograph, when was that, blah, 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 blah. That's basically what it is. But it's become very um, fancy. You know, yeah. you buy all the pretty paper and the flowers. It's like and a science. Yeah. But I love it. <laughs> I've always loved photographs. Uh, we've, got, we've got some of the books here. that just, just uh, she's, she, Because this is what you've done. I mean, basically, you've, uh, you've taken these, uh, these, these memories of yours and these photos. And you've, and you've finally managed to do it all. And uh, I mean, it's just insane the amount of detail that, that goes into here. You know, I don't know if you can, you guys can see this stuff, but there's notes on every single show. How many shows have okay. you done with Center Stage? I've worked at 1,150 shows. I counted them. So. And th but that's not all. That, I mean, you had loads more. Uh, you know, you. 1,150 shows. Is that how many? So we've that done I've more shows at, than that. You yes, see the stage? I've worked at that because I didn't. I haven't worked at every single one. That and is, it's amazing. Look at look at this. There's a there's a bit of queen. There's, there's another Cedric. 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 There we go. <laughs> uh, she's got notes on all of these things. That this looks like the queen stuff. There's Duck. Duck. Duck Charles. Rolling Stones. Lovely. Right. There's <laughs> Alan. There's <laughs> Alan playing his little guitar. There. Look at that. And singing away. Oh, my soul. And, and it's just so beautifully done. I mean, I, Wendy, this is I absolutely phenomenal. I enjoy they, they've kind of got little things that fold out <laughs> and the photos of the shows. There's all of it. There's Finland. There's Finland. Funky and Finland like, fingers. It looks like the Queen show. And, yeah. Um, it's amazing it's stuff, amazing. man. And, uh, and Hugo, Klein and CRC. Uh, it's, um, and, and a thousand shows, and you've got you've got detail on all of them. Well, I've always I've always been very good, if I can say, journaling. I've always kept a diary, but more of what I've done. So, if you had to say to me, what did you do thirty years ago today? I can tell you what I did. I um, so, I had to do twenty one years. I had to go read twenty one years worth of diaries. It took quite a while, and that's when. I started all the journaling. I'd already made the album, but that's when I started all the journaling. I see the journaling as well. So you've got, the I mean, yeah. you see, so you've got, you've got the lists of the shows. Sure, yeah, let's sure. just show them this, because this, this is a, it's crazy. The lists of all the shows we did. There's, uh, I'm just looking here now. It's Eddie Eckstein. Uh, it's Hellenic Hall. That, this is all the Hellenic Hall in like 2000 and 2000. This is going back to 2000 already. Well, I started yeah. in 99. Here we go. Magnificent Seven Boardwalk Opera House. Look at that. All the dates and the things. You've got absolutely everything. If you need to know anything about Center Stage shows, <laughs> it's all here, ladies and gentlemen. 
2013, 49 shows you worked I at. I worked at that. And yeah. we were doing corporates in between. I, it's yes, just phenomenal. Yeah, I can't yeah. even believe, I can't even think to, to, uh, to I enjoy think how, how, many, how many shows yeah. I've done with, <laughs> with them as well, including the corporate stuff. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, Aaron, you are strict with Wendy is attending the common, common, common in class and wanted the CD, but I uh, left my purse at home. I asked Wendy if we could have a CD and I promised it would empty immediately. And she agreed. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I'm so glad you did because we sold quite a few of those CDs. So thank you for that. It fed our babies for a night or two. Greer had to change all the pencil seating chart to pen for you guys. It was the last thing we had to do before closing the office My at the boardwalk. Yes. Greer used to work in, if I'm correct. Now, now that that um, that boardwalk stuff was was insane. I mean, you guys had to do training and all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. yes, that's interesting. You know, last night I woke up at midnight and I thought, oh, hang on, I wonder if it's true. So this morning I went and double checked. Yeah. On the fifteenth of September in two thousand, we all had to go on a course because we were going to start working at the boardwalk and we had to learn what the mission statement. Brian, are you listening? You can, will remember that. <laughs> um, we had to know what the mission statement was. Of oh, um, the boardwalk. Yep, yeah. No, because no. if anyone stopped us at any point in time and said, what is our mission statement? And you had to you had to yeah. walk the talk. Or, wow. Yes. Yeah. Well, Megan Vassell will remember that yeah. too. That's, yeah. a, that's amazing. And that was today, funnily enough. The boardwalk will be 20 years old next month, October. Wow. Yeah. wow. So, so you went on training 15, 20 years ago on the 15th, today. exactly yeah. to the day. Yeah. And the time you just finished. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Finished what? Fin you just finished up, up now. I presume you were going home for supper after your training. Oh, oh, I yes. see. Okay. <laughs> I'm just checking. I'm yeah. not finished the sentence, no. Major. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> we've, still got a, we've still got a bit of life just left checking. in us. <laughs> yeah, Megan, Megan saying wonderful memories. You're quite right. And amazing, the, the standard of, of training in those days as well. Incredible. Thank you, Mr. Vass. Yes, Graham. Yeah. Anna. Oh, my there friends, go, Peter, Peter and Bob, hello, I miss <laughs> you, I hope I'll see you soon. <laughs> and uh, ten favourite shows for the, oh, for the no. uh, final bit, no, no, a little no, bit no. about each no. one. Each one. Yeah, well, no. I know you can't pick them all. Because okay, all my absolute favourite is Queen, no matter yes. what. So it's well, us two, I think us two, our okay. Queen show was, I mean, Lelani's there, Lelani's on, on the, in the comments. That show was, was just, for me, the, my proudest moment uh, for, for Centre Stage. It was amazing. There was that, in the Opera House, it had yeah. that theatrical touch. I mean, you all are talented with what you do. And uh, the, no, that the harmonies, was the, awesome, the amount awesome, of work that went awesome. into that show, the amount of concentration that it took, it was definitely one of my, my So favorites. any Queen show, and I've seen lots, and, and in the day when Gary used to bring people, we had um, Mercury Rising, which yes. I think was Colin Law. Yes, um, I love that, that show. Jo jo Clark, uh, Joseph no, no, Clark. No, no, Joseph, uh, Joseph Clark is another one of my oh, right. absolute favourites. And that is where I first, um, with Colin Lordonna yes. and Sito, Sito performed yes. in, was it Viva Queen? Yep. Yeah. That's the first time I ever heard Sito. Okay. And he's got a... Amazing. Yeah. Um, Stage So Queen okay. is my absolute... I loved... I, do you know what? When I was, whenever, I don't know how old, yeah. but I lived in Durban yeah. and I was sent, where I was working, was sent on a course to Johannesburg and Queen were live at um, Sun City. Yes. And I tried to book, to go. I so wanted to see Freddie Mercury. Oh, 85, I would have given 84, my, 84, 85. I can't remember. When it, yeah, 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 could it, yeah, yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, in fact, yeah, it was probably 83 because Sean was yeah. two in his terrible twos. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Still is, Sean, still in his still Yeah, you're teams. right. <laughs> Shame, no. <laughs> but, um, and that's when he lost his voice, Freddie. Yeah. Sean lost his voice. No, 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 no Sean no, never lost his voice. He played the same one night and then he lost his voice the yeah, next night. Yeah, so just as well, I wasn't able to get wow. in, but I would have loved to have seen Freddie Murphy. That's one performer. No, I know that's that. that uh, 1984, Murphy's, maybe. That's 1984, okay. that's it. So that's Sean was movie. three years old. I was in standard six. Oh, But wow. I remember that. I remember that tour. It was yeah. amazing. I just remember him chain smoking. <laughs> Freddie Mercury was chained. Yes, absolutely. Really? He just never stopped smoking. Yeah. Um, and then um, Mumford must be one of mine. Oh, Mumford is my, my yeah. I love Mumford. I don't, I don't know. That was such a vibey show. I absolutely loved Mumford. And then 
this extra special game to Cape Town with yes, it. And yes. I mean, I went to East London and it was yeah. a <laughs> And we did it again and again. And I never, you know what? I've seen, you've had, well, we've had reruns, you know what I mean? No. Yeah. I've watched them all. I've never gone home. Mm. Um, I love it. I yeah. absolutely no, love, love it. it. And I must say thank you to all of you for making my life happier when I am at Centre well, Stage. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And thank you, Gary, for recognising all the talent and bringing them. And I really, really mean that from the bottom of my heart. No, we, we, I mean, we, we know from, from uh, 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 putting on a show, we've got so much to do. Uh, with, with the music side and putting the show together that that when when you in control of the bookings then we know okay that's sorted so it's always a guess what what <laughs> what i learned excel oh you learned excel <laughs> she's learned Gina, how to use excel you know what Gina said the other, i'm going to i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell them what you said to me <laughs> what the, you could have rob you could rob us blind by doing all these <laughs> yeah. additions i could you could rob us blind, but we trust you, Wendy. We just trust you. Also, I another can't... thing, I've learned how to do EFT. <laughs> oh, very good. You know, and she's entered the world of computers. I believe you have. And I've even live videos, eh, Philippa, with Danny and, yes. the, and the bagpipes. Yes, live streaming I mean, as well. And look at this, you're on Gino's spot tonight as <laughs> no, well. No, 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 that's all. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> um, but I just want to say one one more thing yes. as far as EFT. I must tell you a funny thing that happened, yes. which brightened our day. I think I told you in the front of the house, ladies, who I appreciate, okay? Yes, yes. In our, um, we have, okay, we have these, um, we have the WhatsApp group, whatever, whatever. But the anyway. Front of house, ladies. There's yeah. Pauline. She's one of them. Pauline, do you remember? Oh, and Lauren. Lori, Lori. <laughs> we miss you. Lori, Oh, absolutely. love to you too. Thank you, Karen, for introducing Lauren to us. She was a gem. Yes. And that's how we got her mom involved, Pauline. Because yes. Pauline and her husband love the show. We had two lollies. We had, uh, of course, Lauren, um, uh, uh, Lauren uh, uh, Eden. Lauren Eden oh, as well. Yes. yes, yes. Yes, Lauren Eden. Lolly, if you're watching as well, we love you too. We've got two lollies. Okay. Um, <laughs> what happened? EFTing, okay. Yes, yes. I had to EFT... Paul something because I asked him and um, I learned how to do, okay my first learning how to do EFT and I had to pay something and it wouldn't work oh damn it. I forgot so I've got a limit of a thousand uh, <laughs> and I needed it. to pay it so okay. I said Paul won't you do it and then I can take my time paying him back yes yes see? yes so all right <laughs> I did pay him back I promise, I promise just a good one to know I if promise you, I did my pay limit him back. is you know my limit is too small uh, can you pay it and then I'll pay you back over the next He's six my months husband. <laughs> anyway so I'll pay him <laughs> a day later Pauline Thompson phones me Wendy, we haven't worked for three months. Why have I got 800 grand? <laughs> P. Thompson, I paid the wrong P. Thompson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Karen Strode, the front of house lady, the most beautiful heart. You're absolutely right. The front of house lady is always. And I mean, from, from the days Lynette and, and Terry, uh, you know, Terry going down to Main Street to find me costumes like this stuff, you know. Um, she could find anything. You could find anything. Terry was, was amazing. And, and also so many, here we go, there's some photos. We can, we can go to the side over here, we can have a look. Uh, and I see Donovan there, I see Fenlon. <laughs> that looks like Debbie and Wayne. That's a band shot. That's... I'm sitting next to Cedric. Yes, yeah, Cedric. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what. And Alan, Alan on the end. Yes, I think that's Alan on the end. That, that was at the. Um, this that was, was at, the at Hemingways. The Hemingways. Yeah. Hemingways, the venue, eh? The Mag Seven show. Yes, yeah, the Mag. Oh, the Mag Seven. It was yep. one of our Mag Seven runs. East London, we love you, East London. Yes. Oh, I did. Um, did I, Dave and Suzette? I did mention. Yes, yes Dave and Suzette, you. of course, thank in East London as well. Thank you for always taking good care of me in East London. I think Gary's I really got quite a few, uh, quite a few photos here going. Let's see what else you got there, Gary. Blank there. Oh, there's another one. Same. Oh, there we go. Cedric. Another show. I see this. Yes, and that's... Uh, this that Suzette. Looks, Suzette on the... Uh, on that's the Suzette over here. Yes, she's oh, our East London crew. Where? Absolutely. Oh, and look at that. Carol, Carol Jean. And ACD or Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin show. Or, or it could like have that. been Strictly Party Time. No, it wasn't know. Strictly. That was, looks like Zeppelin because they've got... Ah, they got the, the devil on. It was yeah. the, night, the night of Fubby's 30th. 
Ah, Fabiana. Yeah. There we go. There Look. we go. Oh, that's oh, Lauren. the good, lovely man. <laughs> Lauren, yes. Lovely Lauren. The Thank you, Dave and Susie. Dave and Susie took her for a heli helicopter ride. flight. Fantastic. Lovely. Was that nice? All over Look at Hugo. Ah. My first birthday ever at a centre stage Clenance. show. <laughs> and here's Andrew, and Monica, <laughs> and of course, Devon. And Devon, Devon and, uh, yes. Oh, and that was at Duck Charles Rolling Stones Carol at Grey High School. The Stones, one of my favourite shows as well. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Just like such raw rock and roll. Yeah. Barnyard, Cape Town, Mumford. Absolutely. That was the lady who did oh, the bookings that was, there. Uh, the, the lady that did the Mumford show in Cape Town. And oh, that look was, at that. Do that's you remember your, that? That's your, shoo -shoo. That's your 50th. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's your 50th, and and Lionel Hunt, one of Wendy's favourites. And this Pam, my dear friend Pam, who oh. is very friendly, also they're friendly with Carl and Leanne. Oh, okay, who okay. in England and come to all the shows. And they loved your show, Lionel. And I see Russell Sneed, drummer oh, extraordinaire yeah, in the background yeah. there. <laughs> and there's the old front there's of the old crew. That was Terry Stage's 10th birthday. Oh man, look at Zelda, that. Zelda, Linda, Terry and me. Terry's looking like some sort of model there. And they're the oh, it's Leandy. Leandy and Jessica. Leandy and Jess, absolutely, our, our admin ladies from from uh, from then, from those days. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's Gary. <laughs> Obviously grabbing. Yeah. Clearly, you know. Yeah. Well, we won't go there. No. <laughs> Rock and roll oh, comedy in London. Hiles. That was amazing. Yes, that was such a fun you show. You and Danny doing that show. Danny, Danny, the best and entertainer in the world. And I'm gonna have Danny good. Fisher on as well. And you always worked on your. That's my 40th, 40, that's 10 years 42. ago. 40, oh, is it 42? Yep. Oh, I see there, 42 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my soul. Oh, yes. Elton John. And oh, it's, oh, Elton John show. With uh, Manu. Hello, Manu. If Manu's online yeah. as well from East London. And, and, and George Stewart. Stewart and Lauren. Oh. Absolutely. And, Lauren. and there, another one when <laughs> I talked Beach my... Party. <laughs> I, no, no, that's Featherbed. I talked my way into oh. that too. That was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Featherbed. That Thank was you, a Gary. fantastic show. That Featherbed. We and still G G here's the GJs. You see what I mean? Oh. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the, the tummies the and the... <laughs> And that was our last show at the Tootsie oh. Karma. Okay, the last the show. Bats. Man, the Bats. Man, the Bats. Team. Ferdy, Big Brother. Ferdy, yes, so that's just a whole the, bunch look of Look at all the... And that is the... the that's the, the crew. That's the That's the, the, the front of house crew. I'm sure ladies, many of you have seen them. Front of house for all you do. Dawn is 82 years old, the one on the right. Oh, oh she's yes. a very good 82. She is, Let isn't she? Very smart. Oh, the, the Ingrid saying the feature if oh. your feet are itching. Sorry, Ingrid's also... Um, yes. A front of house lady, front, but yes. I don't have a picture of her. Don't have a picture yet. Sorry, Ingrid. Just you post one in the comments then, Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wendy, thank, thank you, you thank you so much for oh. coming on board tonight. It, oh. what a, what a I was very show. nervous, I must be honest. Ah, you were but, fantastic. And it was lovely to look back and... And, and uh, thank you, Gary. To have that kind of history, you know, it's, 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 we, would have never, we would have never put that together. And to have somebody with so much passion and so much love. We love you so much, Wendy. I Thank love all, so of, each and every one of you, and who's all out there. I love you all. And very. I might not show it because I'm a little bit reserved, but I do. I do, um, okay. and I'll never ever say anything I don't mean. Oh, never ever. You. That's one thing I don't do. Well, thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Gino. Off you go because we've got the competition to run now okay. before we get going. All right. So the competition, ladies and gentlemen. Off there we go. Okay, I'm back on the mic, and we have the compo, the uh, fiction leads, ladies and gentlemen. Get your typewriters ready because we've got a song. I'm going to play the song on the drums with the drum cam. The drum cam. I'm going to bring it over here. And uh, Fitch and Leeds, our sponsor, thank you so much to Fitch and Leeds. And also thank you to Spa, our brand new sponsor. You saw Alan Stapleton in the beginning of the show. Um, and also, of course, Amobia. Amobia is our, our internet. Um, but uh, uh, I'm going to do the compo. Fitch and Leeds will send you a case of Fitch and Leeds wherever you are in the country. If you guess the song and the title of the song and the name of the artist uh, in, the, in the comments. Put the title of the song and the name of the artist in the comments. The first one. The first one that does it gets the case of Fitch and Leeds. Are we ready? Okay, hit it, Gary. Let's do it. All right, so I want the, the, comment, the, the, the name of the song and the artist. All right. I love this song. Reminds me of a show we did a while ago.
On Saturday, we have the MBDA. We're going to check out. This show has always been about cheering people up and making people feel happy. And there's one thing that the MBDA do is they are rejuvenating the city. And we're going to find out what's going on at Bay World. We're going to find out what's going on all these, all these things that they're doing. They're building our city again. Let's do it. Tuesday, we'll see you at Opera 6. Down. Coming out of PE town. A drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle. And exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino shot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle. And exercise your middle. Get to Gino's spot. Our winner tonight, Stuart Potkitter. You will get your fit and lead shortly, young man. Jolly good photographer as well as a typist. See you 